All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to help you get to know the layers. This is the second tutorial that's already built into Photoshop. So if you click on the learn on the left side, you'll see four tutorials. And I did this one earlier. So back up in the playlist if you'd like to do that one. Otherwise, once you select this one, it's going to ask you if you'd like to start the tutorial, you're going to hit yes. Now I found that the little bubbles that come up showing you where to click works pretty well, but not always. So that's why I'm making this video. I feel like video just helps uh, get through this a little faster and a little easier. So um, I'm going to take this thing. You can read and go through it as well, but I'm just going to put mine down here so you don't really notice it. Now, if you want to make sure your windows look the same as mine, you can go to Arrange, sorry, Workspace, Essential, okay? And then you may have to hit Reset Essentials. Then it should look just like mine um, when looking at your own computer. Okay, so layers. They're over here on the right side, and the way, good way to understand layers, I think, is think of it as pieces of paper. You have one piece of paper, here's a little eyeball, it turns it on. And then if you cut this vine out and put it on top, of course it's on top. If I took something, a piece of paper like that, and dragged it underneath, you wouldn't be able to see it. So it's just all these different layers. Now this one has black. We don't really want to use this one yet, so I'm going to turn it off. But I'm going to turn all these layers on, okay? And so for example, this flamingo, maybe we want it in front of these leaves. So all I need to do is grab that flamingo and pull it above the banana leaves. And he's kind of small compared to all the rest. So I'm going to transform him. Now, you may not have a blue box around it. You can turn that on and off right here as long as you have the selection tool selected and you can turn it on and off. Now, if it's not on, you can also make sure you're on the flamingo area first and then go up to edit, transform, and go down to scale. Once you're on scale, um, you could change it up here by typing in a number. For example, maybe I need it to be exactly 125%. I can hit enter and then it does that. I can also use the move tool, the selection tool, and drag it up so maybe it's a little more on power with the rest. Um, you can also do things like duplicate layers. So I'm going to look for that red bird layer. There he is. And right now there's no selection on it, but uh, I don't need to worry about it. I can turn it on right here if I want to see it highlighted. I'm going to right click on, sorry, not the object, but rather right click on the red bird here and hit duplicate layer. If I do that, it's another red bird as well. Oh, I don't see it. Did I do delete or duplicate? I must have hit delete, duplicate layer, and it's gonna say, hey, what do you wanna call it? We'll leave it as red bird copy. And I can drag that over and we can see there's two now. Now I'm gonna have them kind of facing each other like lovebirds. So I'm gonna take this right one here and go to edit, transform, and then do flip horizontal. And you can see it only affected that one. Perfect, good. Um, and then one the more thing I want to show you is, let's go back to this rainbow layer. So if I click on it, it doesn't do anything. I have to hit the eyeball, turn it on. And we can see like, it just makes it all black, but maybe this is the rainbow we have available. Just realize there are different blending modes for every layer. So this is only going to affect the rainbow layer because I have it selected. And I'm going to drop this down and I could go through there and see which ones I like. But in this case, I think screen makes a lot of sense. And right now though, I it, the, the rainbow is going in front of the uh, vine. That doesn't make much sense. So I'm going to take this vine layer and drag it above it. Okay. There we go. That looks a lot better. Hopefully you understand layers a bit better as well. And if you like this video, there's two more in this series. So check it out in the playlist. Thanks. Good luck.